guess what guys? We are at David Christopher's. And if you have never heard of David Christopher's, you are missing out. Stay tuned to see one of the top places to shop for home decor in the Shoals. I could never love another place like this. We are in Sheffield at David Christopher's, and this is a fabulous store, and we cannot wait to learn a little bit more about what makes this place so special. Tell us about how you guys, how this whole thing started. Well, I was actually in the floral business since birth, I guess. My parents had a wholesale florist and my grandmother had a wholesale florist, so I kind of grew up in the industry, but when I took over the company several years ago, I kind of decided that wholesale was difficult, so we started designing and importing our own products, uh, and I was very involved with the development of all the products and picking out the colors and drawing out the designs of everything. And so we also opened a retail store because when we transitioned from going from wholesale to import, the quantities grew quite a bit instead of, you know, two or three hundred pieces of a color. We ended up with thousands of pieces of a color. So the retail store was just kind of a way for us to uh, highlight some of the things we do in the community and then also uh, allow us to move some of the extra product. And we've kind of just grown from that point. You know, we're just really excited where that has gone. We love getting to showcase some of the the particular things that we do here and especially I think people know us at Christmas a lot because yeah. we, we tend to go a little over the top yeah. for the Christmas season. <laughs> Y'all got incredibly talented people here. Some of the ladies here did my reefs for my front doors a couple times and it's just done beautiful work. You're not the only celebrity here so Miss, right. Miss, yeah. Miss Jennifer love the fact that she has written a book about being a business owner uh, leading with Jesus ministry outside the walls of a church. With the book, I really just wanted to tell our story. A lot of times people glamorize business and make it sound like if you're a business owner, you just have this glamorized life, you get to do what you want, when you want, it's not hard. But this story, uh, this book just kind of highlights the struggles that we've gone through as a business, the things that we've overcome, but not on our own, but with the help of the Lord. He's gotten us through the flood, the pandemic, labor shortages, all those things. So the story continues outside of the book but just um, we want to be a light to, to the marketplace and to the, the people that we work with as well as the people that we serve. I know one of the things that in your ministry that you love to do is to give back to the community. How do you do that? Two of our main ways is through Shoal Save Alive. So we give to them and do whatever we can to help them out with different needs. And Jim's then the, actually on the board. Yeah, yeah, yeah so on the board there. And then the uh, Shoal, the uh, Dream Center, which is through our church chapel. Um, they are able to distribute food and resources. They want to help people to not only have what they need, but learn how to continue to sustain themselves, like teaching budgeting, helping them get jobs. They tutor a lot of kids and have helped their grades just skyrocket. Um, and so we helped them out and we were able to actually sponsor their lobby recently. So some UNA students put together a plan and we were able to, to pour into that so that they could purchase everything they needed to make that space look presentable so that when people walk in, they feel like, hey, these, they care about me. I have work yeah. here. Yeah. They've made it look nice for me. That's incredible. So we were help, glad to help with that. It is just a beautiful store. It's a beautiful story. We are so blessed to have you guys in the community. They're in Sheffield, they're in the Shoals. You guys come out and support these wonderful folks. Uh, be sure and come out and remember, tune in for next week for our next Spotlight Home Decor Place. Uh, we're with Angela Grishman Associates and if you guys need any real estate needs, just know that me and my team are here to help you guys.